All right, Ute fans, Jordan Win here with the plan to win, presented by UteFans.net. Unfortunately, we didn't win, but we're still gonna go through it. And we got a couple clips here today from the Rose Bowls. Epic game, just fell a couple plays short. Um, incredible time, awesome to be there. Awesome to see how many Ute fans showed up and um, you know watch the team really put on a, an epic performance and, and just come away empty-handed. But um, recapping a great season with a couple clips here in the Rose Bowl, so hope you enjoy. All right, you fans, first clip here. Um, first touchdown to Covey. You see the situation early in the first quarter, second and seven. You're in the red zone. Um, again, just a really, really good job by uh, Ludwig. Uh, window dressing this play up to try to give Cam a look at what's happening. So they start with trips to the field, these three receivers to the field. Covey's lined up right here in the slot. You motion the back out to try and get a better picture. Um, and what you're going to see is um, this this defensive end outside linebacker type is going to drop. He's going to play in the middle. This backer is going to pressure. This safety fills where the pressure came from. And these guys, it's, it's basically just a cover three look. So the corner's in the deep third. This safety's in the deep third. This corner's in the deep third. You got this guy in the middle, this guy in the boundary, this guy in the middle, this guy to that boundary. So ideally, um, in quick game, which is just a, a short throw, a quick throw, if there's pressure, you want to throw behind the pressure. So initially watching this, you'd almost want to throw this this stick route right here, um, right there, and put it on him. Now, for whatever reason, Cam didn't like that, maybe because it's a deeper throw and he thought this safety was going to come down and be able to cover that. So he decides to go to Covey. The tough part in quick game, throwing away from pressure, is this guy. This guy's lined up on the line of scrimmage and is going to drop, and it's kind of challenging to figure out where he's going to be at or where he's going to go or where he's going to end up. And so as you see the clip goes, he drops and just doesn't do a great job of, of finding the receiver. He's looking directly at Cam. So all Cam really has to do is just stare right back at him to hold him right there, and he's not going to move. Covey does a nice job. He, he runs his route and stops right there and then kind of feathers away from that dropper just like that. Cam puts it right on him. Um, fairly simple throw and catch. Feathered catch. Knifes it up the field. Splits two defenders. Great play for the first score of the game. All right, you fans. We're here with the first clip of the day for the plan to win. Um, we're going to go over Covey's first touchdown. Um, so second series of the game, kind of back and forth. Two punts. One by the Utes, one by Ohio State. There's 9.30 left. It's second and seven at the 19, so you're just inside the red zone. Um... Kind of an interesting look here. So what you're going to see is initially Utah lines up in, in trips to the field, three receivers to the field. Covey's right here. We motion the back out to get into empty, which really kind of clears up the picture for Cam to be able to see you know, exactly what he's looking at and who he's reading. Um, and this is a tough look by Ohio State. So really they're, they're in the three down lineman look. This backer's on the line of scrimmage, but he's standing up. That's usually a good indication that he's going to drop. Um, and again, the big thing is you're always looking at the safeties, right? Safeties will always tell you where you're going. So before the snap, you can kind of start to see these guys uh, shifting and moving to where they're gonna, eventually going to be. And so you, you can have a pretty good idea there's going to be some kind of pressure coming from the field. Um, it ends up being only a one-backer pressure, which, which really it wouldn't even count as a pressure because it's still only four guys rushing. So um, this is just kind of a look to try and confuse things, maybe catch... This background of pressure where you're sliding the line the other way and he comes in free. But it's a good job by the Utah offense um, sending the protection to the field. So really you're, you're not in any issue at all. He, he blocks here. These two both have here and these two are to here. Um, so from there, I mean, really it's, it's kind of up to Cam on where he wants to go with the ball. Usually in, in quick game, this is a quick throw. It's, it's a short throw. Um, you want to throw into pressure. So uh, if you watch the clip, and, and we'll, we'll, we went over the digital copy, but um, as this backer blitzes and he replaces them, there's actually a window right here, but Cam decides to work this side. So um, Cam does a good job of, of really just moving this backer out of the picture. This guy's a non-factor, and, and Covey just kind of runs his. It almost looks like an option route. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's actually an option or if he's just running a hitch route, but Covey does a good job of just finding the soft spot in the zone, sitting, Cam puts it, puts it on him, and Covey darts up the field for a touchdown. All right, you fans, situation here is fourth and three. Um, we're driving. We're at the, the plus 31, 14 minutes left. It's 
Um, 38, 31 Utes. So really, um, this is probably the play of the game. Um, I, I don't knock the decision to go for it. You're obviously too far away for a field goal. And um, a first down here takes another couple minutes off the clock. If not, you end with points. So not necessarily the worst decision to go for it. Um, I think just execution wise, you know, the Utes would like to have this one back. So as we start, you're going to see this is a very different look than what the Utes end up in to run the play. So they start in empty, no one in the backfield. They start by motioning this back into the backfield. And as you see this linebacker, he's man to man on him. He inserts himself into the box. Okay, Cam right now already should have a pretty good idea. It's probably man coverage because of the way this guy reacted to the motion. The next guy that goes in motion is Keithy. And as you'll see, this defender right here follows him. So now Cam's thinking, okay, this is definitely man coverage. Let me pick my best matchup. Or, or in this case, um, really the play is just a pick play. So Keithy's going to get to the flat and Kincaid's going to set a pick. And the really the goal of the play or, or, or the premise of the play is try to get Keithy the ball into the flat by Kincaid picking this defender. Um, as, we're, as we'll see, this, this receiver out here runs a clear route. You don't really want to throw a go route on fourth and three. That's not a high percentage throw. I know everybody's sitting there thinking, why don't we take a shot? Th this isn't the right time to do it. So um, it's a good job by Cam really with the decision. I think just the execution was a little flawed. Um, as you see, there's your pick right there. So you make number 14 go over the top of Kincaid. And right now, if you're looking at this play, this is probably a first down. You put it on Keithy, he gets up the field, it's a first, first down. Unfortunately, Cam puts the ball just behind Keithy, so he has to slow down to catch it and turn the other way. And that allows 14 to get over the top of the pick and make this play. Um, I think if you put that ball on, on this shoulder right here of Keithy, and he catches it and is able to turn this way towards the sideline, he probably gets it. But because the ball is just behind him and he has to turn inside to make the play, that allows the Ohio State defender to, to make the tackle just shy of the first down. And um, again, in my opinion, that really was the play of the game and where things really started to shift towards uh, Ohio State's favor. All right, you fans, we're here with the second clip. And really, this this probably is the, the play of the game. Um, we all know the situation is fourth and three. You are at the 31 going in. They're up by seven. Real early in the fourth, fourth quarter I just started, there's 13.58 left, but this was when things kind of started to shift um, for Ohio State. So the Utes kind of do a lot of window dressing and, and a lot of things before the snap to give Cam a good look at what's happening. So initially when they line up, um, Bernard is out here lined up like a receiver. They shift him back into the backfield and Keithy's on this side and they motion him to this side. And what that does is it allows Cam to see what the defense is doing. So when, when Bernard motioned in, this backer right here came in and lined up in the, in the box. Um, when Keithy motioned, this backer was over here playing him in man and shifted over with him. So if you're, if you're Cam, you know that it's man coverage. And that's the big thing with this play. So from here, it's really just picking up your matchup. Um, on fourth and short, you really don't ever want to throw a clear route. That's not a high percentage throw. So that, that route's basically dead before the snap. Um, uh, just a, a very generic out route isn't super great either against man coverage. So really what you're looking at um, is this kind of switch uh, pick, pick play. And what they're trying to do, it looks like, is they're trying to get the ball to Keithy into the flat and have Kincaid pick this defender. Um, and, and really, it, 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 it set up nicely, and as we went over in the digital clip, you'll see Kincaid actually pop wide open right here for an easy pitch and catch. Um, Cam didn't like it. Again, it, it looks like they're trying to pick this defender as he follows Keithy over, and this guy made a good play, got, got around it, and the ball was just a little behind Keithy. I think if it's in front of him, he's able to catch it and turn up the field and gets tackled probably right at the marker. Um, but because he had to stop and turn around, I think that's really the difference. Um, and so again, as we went over, you're going to see this pick. Um, it's easy to sit here and second guess every read, right? It does look like Kincaid pops open, but for all we know, the play is to, to generate a pick and get this ball to Keithy, which he does. Um, again, I think if he could have this one back, he put it on his uh, upfield shoulder so Keithy can catch it and turn up the field and, and probably gets the fourth down. So... 
Unfortunately, the East came up short and gave Ohio State the ball. We all know what happens. They go down and score to tie it up and, and then eventually win the game. All right, you fans, last clip here. Um, the situation is the Utes are down seven. There's two minutes left. Cam has exited the game with what appeared to be a concussion. Glad he's okay. Uh, but you got Bryson Bardens in here basically leading a two-minute drive. Um, we're at the 15-yard line. Um, it's first and ten. So really you have all, all your plays at disposal. Again, um, the play that the Utes decide to run is, is a pretty common two-minute concept. Um, most teams carry some form of it, if not the exact form. So what you're going to see is this outside receiver runs a slant with the ability to stop if it's zone or break back out if it's man. Kincaid's going to run a little inside fade. You free release the back and you have double slant up here to the field. So the read's fairly simple. Um, there's one high safety, so you work the three receiver side. Three receivers meaning there's three routes. One high safety, three receiver side. So this, this coverage is man free, but there's one safety, so you wanna work this side. If there was two safeties, one safety here and one safety here, you would work the double slant side and you would read the defender over Covey. So one high safety, you're looking this side. Now, the next level of this is it's man coverage. Barnes knows he's got man coverage, so really all you're doing is you're picking your best matchup. In this case, on this route, it's Kincaid running an inside fade against this nickel slot defender. <clears throat> um, Ohio State doesn't really bring any pressure. They, you know, this guy's got the back. This guy's, you know, free. He can he can green dog. Um, green dog's a term. Basically, you know, whoever has the back, the other guy is free, so he can blitz after he knows that there's nobody he needs to cover. Um, he decides not to. He's just kind of playing free in the middle of the field, trying to read Barn, Barnes' eyes. So again, um, pretty simple, really. When you get man, um, Kincaid does a good job running the route, getting behind him. This this defender, truthfully, does a poor job. Look at his eyes. He's already looking back for the ball. That's never what you want to do in man coverage. Um, if you watch the Utes play man coverage, um, they rarely look back for the ball unless you have what's called a hip lock on the receiver. So if you're hip to hip. So in this case, if this defender's right hip was on Kincaid's left hip, then you could look back for the ball. Um, it's not, and he looks back for the ball. That's that's classic 101 error in man-to-man -man coverage. Um, typically, you if you don't get hip to hip, what you want to do is play the ball as it comes into the receiver's hands and try and knock it out. And you'll see the Utes, obviously they play man coverage on defense all day long. You'll see plenty of clips of that, I'm sure. But in this particular coverage, Ohio State, is playing man and this guy does i mean truthfully not to knock this guy i'm sure he's a great player but you can't look back for the ball in man coverage if you're not hip to hip because this is exactly what happens you lose the receiver and you lose the ball now you're trying to play catch up and play it out of his hands in this short of a field there's not enough time to do that to, to catch back up it's a great throw by barnes um great job by kincaid he actually gets two feet in so that's good in the nfl um and just a good play good play for a touchdown great job by barnes coming in um, leading a two-minute drive to tie the game up. Unfortunately, um, defensively, we couldn't get a stop. But kudos to this guy coming in from Milford, Utah, and, and really just doing his job, um, being the next man up and picking up the rifle. And we'll play this clip through. Great route, great throw. Um, poor job by the Ohio, Ohio State defender and touchdown for the Utes. Last clip, last clip we're going to go over. Um, crazy scenario, right? So Bryson Barnes gets thrown in at quarterback. In the fourth quarter, you're down to Ohio State. You're trying to drive and get a touchdown to tie it, and he comes in and, and just delivers. Um, we're at the 20-yard line. Two minutes left. Ohio State is up by seven. Uh, Utah is kind of starting to get into their two-minute offense on this drive. And so what you're going to see is a pretty – almost everybody carries some form of this concept in their two-minute offense. And really it's just a great job by Bryson finding a matchup. So – what you're going to see is uh, they're on kind of the right hash to the boundary. You're going to see this little, it's almost like a, a, a smash concept, but basically it's just a little slant and he sits. Uh, Kincaid runs an inside fade. You have the back free release out of the backfield. So if they're in a one high look or cover three, this is the side you would want to work. And then to the field, you have double slants. So if it was two high safeties, this would be the side that you would work. Um, Ohio State. Decides to play man across the board, so he's man here, man here. They both have the back, man, man, and then you have a safety in the middle. So really Bryson can pick any matchup that he likes. That's the beauty of going against man coverage is you take your best matchup. So, you know, when I played, 
Um, if I wasn't throwing the inside fade, I would usually look to this guy, this outside slant to the field. There's a ton of room. Um, Bryson does a good job. He likes the matchup Kincaid has on him. And it's pretty simple. All he needs to do is just hold this free safety in the middle of the field and let Kincaid win. And Kincaid runs a great route, stutters on him, gets behind him. Bryson lofts it up into the back of the end zone uh, for a touchdown. Great catch by Kincaid. Got his feet in. And, again, great job by Barnes coming in um, and handling the situation with, with a two-minute drive to tie it up. All right, you fans, last episode of the Plan to Win, uh, going over the Rose Bowl clips, three clips that we went over, um, two that were positive for the Utes, one that was a negative and, and kind of was the play of the game on the fourth down stop. But um, appreciate you all tuning in. Appreciate you fans putting this on. Um, shout out Andy and Kevin behind the camera. You guys don't see them, but they did a phenomenal job all year enabling me to get up here and act like I know what I'm talking about. Um, tune in next year. We'll be back um, and go Utes.